Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beep out all this. I want to do a blog era uh, documentary about all the rap shit that was going on around that time. And I want this shit to like cover like Mac Miller and J. Cole, Kendrick, all all of our golden era giants that we deemed like the giants that we have now. Nipsey right, Hussle, rest in peace. You know what I mean? Rest in peace, Mac Miller. Drake, Autumn, man, Cuddy. Yes. Like, I would love to, like, just document the college circuit era. Woo! Like, the come Car- on. The when Karma you- Loop. Yeah, <laughs> man. Oh, Karma Loop. loop. <laughs> Yo, so, so when do you loop say, crazy. like, when do you say the blog era actually started? I, I think, like, if 2000. We had to put a year on it. 2000, the end of 2008, 2009, I think that's the start. Because, like, around that time, you got... Kanye's uh, 808s and heartbreaks going crazy. Kid Cudi was Kid Cudi going crazy, and then the breakout mixtape so far gone. gone. Oh yeah, and then that shit just yeah, and then then literally not to be cheesy, but nothing was the same. Yeah, it was a wildfire. Yeah, and after that, you got Cole and Kendrick follows shortly after. You got Wale. You were big. We talked about it before. He was one of the people that really got me into Wale just through like shout out to Wale high school. Yeah, so just through Facebook, he would like be tweeting Wale lyrics. Yeah, talking bro. Talking about the different sneakers and all that shit. I was in. And my man uh, Shaq is the one that got me into Wale because he was like heavy into Wale. Bro. Oh, we just seen Shaq. Yeah, that's my yeah, that's my Shaq. guy, man. Shout out to Shaq. We seen him at Buffle or Buffalo. He was doing the yoga shit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out my guy. That's one of my best friends, man. Shout out my man. Yeah, shout out and shout out to T. Shout out to Jay. Shout out to Zeke. All my guys. Um, but yeah, he put me on the Wale. And um, we both bonded over Cole and Mr. Almec's electrical engineering class. We was in the back <laughs> sharing headphones and shit, listening to Friday Night Lights and shit. I was like, oh, my God. You like, know, what's the name? Put me, Denzel put me on the Friday Night Lights. Bro. Oh, and then Denzel, yeah. yo. Like, listening on the way to uh, bro. one of them games like Akron. I'm just like, yo. And then me and crazy. Zell, like, we bonded over uh, Frank Ocean. He was a part of that blog era, too. We I po- think, think Zell put me on the Frank. He, yeah, he was the first person Frank. that played Nostalgia Ultra. We bonded over Frank, Nostalgia Ultra, and then we bonded over um, Kanye West, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, and then Good Fridays. Come on. How can yeah, you I talk about the blog era? Yeah, yeah. Christian Dior denim flow? <laughs> Man, get the... Yo, bro, I, 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 I need that. What was your screen. favorite blog of the blog era? Um, probably Two Dope Boys. Because that Two Dope Boys, Tyler the Creator shit was like, that, <laughs> that, that <laughs> Goblin release was just, man, I was crazy, bro. Like, I, I even like, I mean, they're like a full fledged magazine now, but like early complex days, mm-hmm. man, those, those Cuddy and Kanye covers, bro, the Pharrell mm-hmm. cover, like, some shit's iconic, bro. Yeah. And I, I think it was, um, and they weren't really a blog either. They're like a full-fledged magazine, but it shows you how much shit I was reading. Word. But the GQ cover with um, Wale, Cuddy, and Drizzy, and they're like on top of like washing machines and shit. And they're just, that was supposed to be like the, the big three. That's such a wild mm-hmm. photo shoot to go back and look at now. It's like, bro, what the fuck? Yeah. But it was like how different the times were just looking at how buddy buddy they were and shit and then yeah. where we all evolved and progressed towards like that's something worth documenting like for yeah. real for real one thing i want i want to see somebody document is the shift in fashion of hip-hop from like literally going from like polo era to like to our like blog backpacker era, oh, I love that era. to now the designer yeah designer I, I really heavy. yeah i really because like bro you could pop wearing a white tee like cargo shorts, fucking Converse's. It went from that to fucking everybody Robin, had the camo Robin shorts jeans. On. Yeah, camo shorts, Definitely. high socks, camo <laughs> shorts, high socks, pow chain, G shock, polo. Had, Come on, <laughs> the pow chain. I had the I had the crazy fake pow chain from Hot Topic. I had two colors. I was like, yo, nigga, I think I'm Big Sean, bro. Fuck with me, bro. Like I had the two pow chains. I had the. Uh, you get your snapbacks. Snap I did going with crazy. the Tisa on the joint. Tisa mm-hmm. on the back. I had the Raiders. I had the old school Bills. I had the bro. Raiders joint Come too. On. That shit. That shit, you can get that off now. Bro. <laughs> you can get that off right now. Somebody look at you crazy like G Shock, and you just you rock it with confidence. Nigga, get on my face. This shit Sorry, fire. Yeah. Give them the history on it. They yeah, ain't, ain't crash they gonna be like, damn, I just need that, but I don't want to tell them. I don't want to make you. You know what I mean? But now we, it's like Balenciaga this. Balenciaga that, Dior, Dior this. It's Dior like, me. 
Yeah, bro. I'm like, then nah, I'm I'm cool on that. I'll be still rocking like Billionaire Boys Club ice cream, Supreme. Huff. Yeah, that shit is timeless. It's yeah, timeless, bro. Yeah, yeah, like timeless, I don't timeless. I don't care, bro. It is what it is. But yeah, like that too. The fashion, like everything about that era, is just like, man. It, it's and and it might be nostalgia, but even during during the era, I was still like, yo. I was on the blogs. I was checking for Lucy's from Drake. <laughs> I was checking for little J. Cole Lucy's. Like right. when the, um when he freestyled over Devil in a, a new dress for Friday Night Lights, when that shit leaked, it was just like it, oh, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Was, was that had Bill? Was that Bill Maddox? That that was a yeah, Bill Maddox. Oh yeah. my God. He went crazy. And it was like and then on top of that, Friday Night Lights and then Sideline Story, right? And mm -hmm. it was just like, damn, bro. Like, that wasn't even what we wanted. And then he came back with Born Center. The blog era was crazy, bro. I'm glad. Yeah, I'm glad that I wasn't the only one. But like, when I heard Sideline Side Story, Line I was so. Not it. I'm bro. like, bro, I heard. Yeah, it was some shit on I heard 15. Yeah, it was, it was I, yeah but I heard Rise 15 of, of like all these 18 Yeah, songs. that's the track. Yeah, like, set, like five shit. of them joints was off of Friday Night Lights and the Warm. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Rise and Shine was. That that's, my, that's my shit to this day. Rise and Shine is crazy. Yeah, but Mr. coming from my spot. Yeah, bro. Coming from he writing some shit. Like, yeah, that's my shit, bro. I used to wake up literally wake up early as hell in high school and i used to blast that shit in my room like my, my stepmom used to get mad as hell and shit um but that was my shit bro uh but this mr nice watch was not you know what i mean yeah that wasn't my favorite but come on bro what are we doing like he he oh, was really people say that bro i like that he song. was trying to he, he was like finding he was looking yeah. he was looking for that thing like he was looking that for that was, song. That was crazy. He was like, <laughs> yeah, that song was wild. That's my man's. When I when I interview him, I'm gonna be like, yo, that was a wild decision. <laughs> walk, walk me through that. Like, you know, like, like that's that's thought process, crazy. Paint that picture for me. Take me there. You in the booth with, with Hove, Mr. Nice Watch. Go ahead. Like, that's crazy, bro. Um, but yeah, man, that's just a it's an era that I feel like the generation that we're in now, like the SoundCloud era. I mean, well, that's about to leave, but yeah. I feel like there's a lot of kids who missed out on that and could really take some inspiration or even just some information, you know what I mean? Just yeah. about what we grew up on in high school and going to college it's, with. It's changing so fast. Like, so fast, now, now, bro. The, now it's the TikTok era, like the Lil Nas X. Yeah. It's fucking and then every, every song literally has something in the first five seconds that you can act out to. It's crazy. Yeah. If you really go through and see all like the... The crazy hit songs that go crazy on TikTok, it's the ones that you can really do something in the first five, 10, 15 seconds. That's, and it's like, that's ridiculous. What is that doing to music? Yeah.